Well, I'm so glad to see you all here. And um, thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to share today. Um, I'm gonna be sharing with you from a performance that I've been working on for the last year and a half that came out of, um, it really came out of an art exhibit that was hosted in Plummer Hall uh, two summers ago in summer of 2019, I, I was able to do a perform or have an art exhibit and um, Craig Turrell, who's a member of the congregation. And I spoke afterwards and he was like, I think there's a one woman show in this. And um, so for the last year and a half, he and I have been meeting regularly and taking all the work I have. And he's listened to more of my stories than anyone else I think in the whole wide world and um, helped me shape and craft this, this performance. And um, what I'm gonna share with you today is, is about half of the full length. I've pulled out um, several of the songs and poems that really need a stage to hold, um, hold space for them and really go into more of the, the visceral um, aspect of, of depression and, and um, anxiety. Um, but for me, it feels a little bit, for me, at least I want to have a little more space and distance in that. So this is, this is about a 35 minute performance. Um, partway through, I'm going to be bringing up um, a slide sh show. I'll be shifting into PowerPoint so you'll see the art. And so just tech uh, logistics, you may want to switch to um, switch your, your Zoom view to speaker view. So then when the art comes up, you'll be able to really see, um, see the art and, my, and me as I'm performing. Um, and I just saw come into the room a classmate of mine from high school, David Cardillo. So I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for being here. Um, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So um, yeah, so let's see. What, what a strange time we've been in. This last year, who could have expected this time of coronavirus? There's been such tumultuous transition of power, tensions and conflict and confusion. It seems in so many ways that we've been in the midst of an existential, a global existential crisis with so many of us struggling with physical and mental illnesses. Today, um, I'll be sharing with you from my own experience of chronic pain, depression, and anxiety in my pursuit of healing. Pain and depression and anxiety have held too many of us back for too long. And it's my intent for this show to help expand awareness of the real struggle it takes to find our way off the shore of these invisible illnesses and um, to cultivate the courage and the capacity we need to live freely and fully. And fully, and fully, and fully. Lynn, can you mute yourself? Oh yeah, thank you. And just so you know, I'm in the memorization process, so I will be reading, um, but just, I forgot to tell you that. Um, partly reading, partly memorized. So, okay. I'm hoping to take emergence on a cross country tour this summer, COVID allowing us to be free again to travel and meet, um, but hoping to go and take this out to communities along the way who are doing their own healing work. And in the meantime, I've been working on this Zoom performance to adapt and be able to connect in this way as well. Um, so I invite you to follow along, connect your, my story to your own and to those that you love and care about. Before I begin, would you join with me in taking a, a time of reflective breathing and so that we can connect to this space and time. Um, we'll just take three breaths, three deep breaths in and out, letting the out breath extend beyond the in breath. So if you join with me, let's begin. <sighs> 